Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeannie Main. This is Mondays with Maybe, and this week I wanted to talk about trying to show up as our best self. I feel like so many of us try to measure up to God himself and we can't possibly do that. But then on the other side of things, we also don't allow ourselves to show up in perfect. And by that, I mean like on social media or whenever we're talking to people or whatever it may be, we always try to relay like our best self, right? We always leave out our struggles. We always leave out the part that God actually helped us. And I feel like if we were more honest, not just with ourself, but with others, then they would be able to see how much God has actually worked in our life. And I absolutely love this passage that says, those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. Isaiah 40, 31. I just feel like that's such a beautiful passage because it realliterates. Like if you trust in God, God will take care of you. But if you don't, then you won't be taken care of. A lot of us have sinned against someone, right? Like we're not perfect. We've all done bad things to other people. We've all had bad things done to ourselves. But we are so focused on hiding all of our imperfections and constantly trying to show up as our best possible self, which is great, but it's not real. It's not legit. Forgiveness for yourself and from God requires you to truly repent and give it all to God. It requires you to be in atonement or in harmony with God. If you don't slow down and allow all the hurt and the pain that you've experienced to truly impact your life, then how are you actually going to learn anything and actually move on from it? Not just that, but if you want to be purified by God, then you have to continually allow God to purify you. And what I mean by that is you're always going to sin. Everyone is going to sin. But the difference is knowing you're sinning or accidentally sinning. If you're intentionally sinning, I mean, I'm sorry, but God's not going to purify you, right? Like, if you're doing it intentionally to, like, spite God, throw it in his face, whatever you may be doing, like, come on, guys. But if you're like, oh, I know I need to stop doing this, and you keep accidentally doing it, but you repent, and you say, God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, please, Lord, write your law in my heart, write your law in my mind, help me be better, help me change. If you truly show like repentance, then God's going to continually purify you. Another thing, when you give your sins to God, he forgives you and he lets the mistakes that you've made go. Let me say that again, okay? When you give it all to God, he forgives you. He lets it go. He doesn't hold it against you down the road. He doesn't say, hey, remember that one time you did this? No, he truly forgives you. He lets it go. That way you can move forward and you can truly try to be a better person. Another thing I want to say, the past is just that. It's the past. So many of us focus on mistakes that we've made. So many of us get so caught up in past sins and past judgment you can't find new strength in God if you're so focused on the past and past mistakes that you've made. So allow yourself to move on. Forgive yourself for that mistake that you've made and allow yourself to be made new in the image of God. I can't tell you how many times, me personally, I've made a mistake and I've held on to that and I've tried to learn from it, but I keep beating myself up over it. And here I am 28 years later, well, I'm 20 years old, but you get what I'm saying. Here I am literally still thinking about things I did as an adolescent, as a, t a teenager. And it's not fair to my current self. It's not fair to my future self. It's not fair to God. It's not fair to people that love me. If I truly want to show up as my best possible self to not only inspire others to be their best self, then I truly have to forgive myself for my past and those past mistakes that I've had, just as you need to forgive yourself for those past mistakes that you've made. You can't move forward. You can't show up as your best version of yourself and you can't truly impact the lives of others and truly make a difference if you are continually holding yourself back 
by mistakes that you've made and fear of making those mistakes again because the reality is we're gonna make mistakes okay and God knows that we're gonna make mistakes and that's the best part is even though you might be trying to glorify God he is so gracious and he is so forgiving that when you do make a mistake he truly says it's okay let's learn from this and let's move on rather than holding it against you for the rest of your life you have a holy calling to live out okay and the reason that I'm getting so deep in this so quick is because I truly feel that it's been instilled on my heart to bring my passion forward to impact others to fulfill their passion to truly live out their calling and I can't I can't influence you to do that if you're currently stuck in the past if you're currently stuck on the mistakes that you've made see I want to remind you of the intentions that you've received. I want to remind you to allow yourself to forgive yourself. That way you can move forward and that way you can live out your holy calling. It's okay to lean on someone when you feel weak and it's okay to make mistakes as long as you're truly repenting for those mistakes and you're truly, truly sorry that you made those, God will forgive you and God will allow you to move on. When times get hard, we need to stand firm. Do not throw away the confidence that God put in your heart. I promise it will be richly rewarded. And I can't tell you how many times I've had people come to me like, how are you how are you so confident how how do you do this like what just how honestly it's god like my confidence is 100 percent from god the reason i can get in front of you every week knowing that i'm not perfect knowing that someone's gonna judge me when they watch this but i can still smile and share what's on my heart because i know that god is with me god gave me the confidence to start this podcast last year and I've been doing it every single Monday since because God put it in my heart to share my experiences, my life lessons, everything that I've learned with you. I'm not perfect, okay? I've gone to jail, I've made mistakes, I've drank alcohol, um, I've gotten married and divorced, I had a kid, like everything, okay? I've literally been down in the dumps and up high. I'm not perfect, but I'm real. And I can honestly come to you today and say, here I am. God's put it on my heart to share my message, to share my life story with you, to inspire you to stop holding yourself back. You're never gonna get started if you keep making excuses, if you keep finding reasons not to move forward, okay? You're never gonna have a perfect time if you keep telling yourself, oh yeah, I'll do that once I once I get this, once I do this, once I do that, you're never going to do it. Just do it, okay? I didn't have a camera set up when I started making my podcast. I literally was filming it on my phone. Now I have a whole setup. I did not have an office when I started coaching. Now I do. I don't, I did not have a signed agency when I started modeling. Now I do. Like, you don't need an ideal situation. You simply just need to start. And I hope, above all, that is the inspiration that you take away from this, okay? Truly allow yourself to forgive yourself. Give it to God. Let him lift you up out of this slump that you're in and just get started. Stop finding excuses not to get started. Simply just get started. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Hope you have a fantastic week. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next week.